सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ मोग्राफ डायनेमिक एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग सिनेमा 4D R25 बट गाइस यू कैन यूज एनी सिनेमा 4D वर्जन ओके सो गाइस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ क्यूब दिस वन एंड गाइस साइज आई लाइक सिंपल 10 ऑल 10 यस सो गाइस क्लोजर सो गाइस फिल इट चेक फिल इट रेडियस आई लाइक 0.2 and third division 3 is good okay so guys go to on display select all shading lines yes and next one guys select this cube and duplicate press control c and v that's my cube 2 so guys rename like a sphere guys i create sphere so select this sphere and increase size guys size randomly like a 35 35 yes and see guys that's my fillet radius increase Like this, and fill it. Subdivision, guys. Increase segment. Like eighteen is good for me. Actually twenty. Yes. So guys, that's my spare. Guys, if your system configuration is better, you can increase subdivision. This one. Otherwise, eighteen and twenty is good. Okay. So now, guys, next one. I take cloner. This one, and guys, cloner rename like a spare. Spare and guys select both and make child with spare. Okay, so guys select this spare and change mode. I use liner and see guys that's my clones. So use band, guys. I create bending animation. Okay, so guys count. I like one and position. I like zero, zero. Yes. Okay, so guys now select this spare and this time guys I apply plane, plane effector. Yeah. Okay, so guys, go to on plane field and select this line of field. Check and guys, I change this axis so plus y and guys select this line of field and guys I create animation like this. Yes, but guys see that's not changing on sphere, right? It's not changing. So guys, select this sphere actually plane this one and go to on parameter. Guys, go to on up. See, guys, that's my modify clone. This one and increase like this. Yeah. So, guys, select this liner and guys, see, that's my changing sphere. That's my cube. And now it's really sphere. Cool dynamic effect. Okay. So, guys, now I create more object like a capsule. So, guys, this time. Go to down, guys. Select this pair and duplicate. Press Control C and V, and rename like a capsule. Yeah. So guys, select this pair, and guys, I change position. Actually, size. So guys, go to down. Yes. And guys, select this pair. Second one, and I change this size. Guys, second one size. I like eighteen. And forty-five increase height and eighteen, yes. See guys, that's my capsule, and yeah, fill it pretty really good and subdivision is good, right? Okay, so now guys, select this sphere, this one, and one more time, duplicate. Press Control C and V, like a sphere two. Enter. So guys, select this sphere, and I change, guys, this one size. Size I like forty, forty, and forty. Yes, and fillet radius increase. Yes. Okay, so now, guys, all is good. I have two spare. This one, first one, and second one. And now, guys, I create second one capsule. So duplicate this layer. Press Control C and V. So capsule two. Enter. Yes. Okay, so guys, I change only this one size. Size I like. Guys, take like a twenty-five, sixty, and twenty-five. Enter, and guys, see that's my fillet radius increase like this. See, guys, that's my different different style of objects. So, guys, select this fillet, and eyes, I create animation like this, right? Okay, so now, guys, I increase frame like seven hundred is good. Enter, and guys, I create animation. So guys, go to on y-axis like a two hundred is good. 
and press animation key and now guys i go to like a 80 frames and guys position change like a minus 100 enter press animation key yes and guys go to 160 and guys i like 200 and press animation key yes and guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my cool dynamic okay so guys now go to on 80 frames and guys minus 150 is good enter yes really good okay so guys go to back and play yeah that's my cool dynamic animation okay so guys now i create more frames so guys select this line of field and i create go to on timeline f curve tool see guys that's my graph editor so guys select this graph editor and now guys go to on like a 160 frames 160 like this yes so guys select and duplicate press ctrl c and v yes and guys again copy and one more time copy yeah see guys that's really cool yeah great right see guys that's my dynamic animation that's my graph okay so guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect okay so guys now i apply more objects so guys i use one more time cloner so guys see this time i use cloner and guys select all shape this one and make child with cloner yeah so guys go to back and guys select this cloner object and guys see that's my size i like all 10 10 yes so guys i increase count like 10 and 5 is good and increase count like this okay see guys that's my bunch of cubes and guys now go to back and play yes so guys now i change some setting on plane so guys stop and go to back and guys see that's my plane go to on parameter guys position is good and rotation change guys rotation use randomly like 45 20 minus 45 yes and next one guys this time i apply rigid body tag on first one this one clone and right click guys go to on rigid body tag simulation this one yeah so guys go to force force i like two and two yes so guys go to back and play yeah so guys that's my dynamic effect okay so guys now i also change gravity so guys go to one more and project and dynamic see guys that's my gravity gravity i like zero yeah and guys go to back and play yeah it's really good see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect okay so guys now i create more smoothness so guys select this cloner actually this one select all select and guys this time i apply delay factor so guys go to on strength like a 65 percent is good and mode i use spring yes so guys select this one see guys that's my spare and delay like this right it's really simple right okay so now guys delete yes okay so guys go to back and play yeah that's my cool dynamic okay so now guys this time i also apply formula effector for more very good result so guys select this cloner this one so select all cloners this one and guys i apply formula effector yeah and strength guys i like 20 is good simple 20 enter so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my cool dynamic effect and lastly guys i create rotation animation rotation so guys this time i take null object and guys select this cloner 
and make child with null. So guys, select your null object and chord and see guys, that's my rotation. Rotation all check on zero frame. And lastly guys, 700 frames and number 720, 720. Enter and press animation key. Okay, so guys, select this null object and guys, I change graph editor setting. So select and press liner, this one. Yeah, that's it guys. So guys, go to back and play. Yes, see guys, that's my final effect, final dynamic effect. It's really good. Okay, so now guys, I apply simple material and HDR lighting. So guys, I have material. So guys, go to on create and go to on here. So guys, see that's my material, different, different style of material. Guys, you can download material from my website, it's free. So guys, go to on clona like this. So guys, see that's my metal. So apply metal material on all cubes like this. And guys, lastly, and different, different colors on like a spear and this one. And lastly, yes, so guys, you can also apply like a gold material like this. Yes. See guys, that's my really cool effect. Okay. So now guys, I changed like a, this one. Yes. Much better. Right. Okay. So guys, now I use sky for HDR lighting. See guys, that's my HDR image, HDR material. So guys, drag and drop on sky like this. Yeah. And guys, go to back. And now guys, I take plane. Plane for background. And guys, go to on front view panel. And go to down like this. And I increase size. So guys, select this plane. And size, I like 1000 is good. 1000. 1000. Enter and segments one and one. Yeah. Okay. So guys, now I take camera, camera check and set your camera angle. Yes. Okay. So guys, set your plane. Yeah. Good. Okay. So now guys go to on render setting. I use simple ambient illusion and global illumination and global illumination indirectly catchy. I'll take low for fast render and anti. Select best and max level. I like two is good. Simple. Right. And guys, I show you my simple one frame render. Okay. So yeah, all is good. So guys, click on here. See guys, that's my material. Okay. So now guys, go to on fill it. Enable check. Guys, saturation. I like 20. Brightness 5 and contrast 5. Okay. So guys, close. And now guys, go to on one more time. Render setting. Save. Guys, that's my file. And guys, I create new folder for render, like ran and take any file name. Yes. So guys go to on output, use all frame. Yeah, that's it guys. Okay. So guys close and guys go to back and play. Okay. That's my dynamic effect. Okay. So guys, lastly, go to on here. That's my rigid body tag. And guys see that's my catchy and bake all dynamic check. Guys, take little bit time for baking. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished now. Go to back and play. Yeah. See guys, that's my final effect. Okay, so guys, now I show you my one frame render. That's my cool dynamic. And guys, stop. And guys, click on here. Yeah. See guys, that's my really cool final render. It's looking really beautiful. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final effect is finished. And guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys, you can download this material and project file from my website. It's free. Thank you.